Hey everybody, I'm Kate and this is a Yoga Express class. So just a quick get up, get moving, get ready for what lays ahead and feel good while we're doing it, right? So find a quiet spot, roll out your mat and let's get moving. All right, so we're gonna start in child's pose. So come on through your table, wide knees, knees together, whatever works for you. Take a couple of breaths, arms extended. You can make a pillow with your hands, bring your arms alongside your body. Just take a moment, even though we have a short practice for you today, it doesn't mean you can't take a second to tune in, see where you're at, what you need, connect with your breath. All right, and then from here, if you haven't already, you're gonna walk your hands out, about shoulder distance apart, and feel your weight shift from side to side. And then pop up onto your fingertips. You got a little tense with your hands. Upper arms are gonna roll in toward your ears and start to walk your hands over to the right. And let your hips bop out to the left a little bit, and then walk your left hand a little farther forward and pull that left side sitting bone back and slide your right hand now right outside your your right leg you're gonna press into that hand roll your chest open to the right and sink again through that left side you can lay your head on your arm here and bring your right hand back to the left come through center for just a moment sink your hips back again rock a little bit side to side And then you're gonna walk your hands over to the left as far as they can go. Let your hips kind of bop a little bit to the right and then walk your right hand a little farther forward. Keep both arms lifting away from the floor. And you're gonna slide your left hand right outside your left knee, your left calf, right? Lengthen your spine a bit, press into that left hand, start to roll your left shoulder open, feel your right side rib cage tuck underneath you. You can let your head, your ear rest on that upper arm but keep that upper arm lifting away from the floor. And then left hand back again next to the right. Walk yourself through center one more time. Let your hips kind of bobble side to side. And then you're just gonna kind of sneak your way up into table and let your hips still kind of bop a little bit side to side. And then bring your hips back through the middle. You're gonna keep your hips stacked over your knees and walk your hands forward, maybe one, two hands distance. Press into the tops of your feet. Keep those upper arms hugged in. You're gonna start to soften your chest down. Maybe your forehead hits the mat. Maybe you wanna bring your chin to the mat. Keep your abdominal muscles engaged, but soften through that space between your shoulder blades. Like you can melt that space right down through your chest and into the floor. And then slowly, you know, walk the hands in, but not so much that you're in an actual table, but you're in a nice long table. Spread your fingers, tuck your toes, and lift your knees off the mat, and just rock a little bit side to side here. And then come back through the middle. I'm gonna take your right hand back to the outer edge of your left leg, give yourself a little twist here. And then switch, right hand down, left hand's gonna reach to the outside of the right leg. Oh, we'll twist there. And then both hands down. Take your feet a little bit wider. Keep your hips high. Come onto the balls of your feet and drop the outer edges or the feet over to the right. So you're on the outer edge of the right foot, inner edge of the left. And up through the middle and drop to the other side. And up through the middle. Inhale, bring it forward through plank. Exhale, lower your knees. Elbows in, chest and chin come down to the floor. And then launch forward. Nice baby cobra inhale. When you exhale, bring your arms out to the sides. And then you're gonna walk your hands in. So they're right toward the outer edges of your mat here. And then pop onto your fingertips. Elbows in a nice 90 degree angle. Root down through the tops of your feet. Press into your fingertips. Curl yourself up. Coming into a nice gecko pose here. Shoulders roll back. Inhale. Exhale, lower back down. Sweep the arms out for a moment. Come on to one cheek. 
And then take your arms overhead, press your palms, relax your arms into the floor, soften through your glutes, through your legs. And slide your hands back underneath your shoulders. Press yourself up through a table. When you get there, kick your right leg straight back behind you. And then draw your knee into your nose and round. And step that right foot up between your thumbs. Lock your hands forward, sink your hips. Inhale. And then both hands onto the top of this thigh. Gonna start to press your thigh down as you lift your chest away from your hands. Keep that lift through your chest. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. Exhale, take your hands to the floor. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and then just work to straighten this right leg. Blocks if you want them, or keep this right knee soft. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend your knee. Plant your hands, step back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward through plank. Exhale, lower those knees. The left leg's gonna swing back. Inhale, exhale, draw your knee in, and then step that foot up between your thumbs. Sink for just a moment into your hips. Let your head go a little bit side to side. And then both hands are gonna come up onto this left thigh. Roll your shoulders back, lift into your chest. As you press forward into your thigh, lift. <sighs> Inhale, sweep your arms out, reach them up. Exhale, hands come back down to the mat. Tuck those back toes, lift your back knee. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, press into your left foot. Work to straighten your left leg. Let your head go a little bit side to side. Inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, we're gonna bend your left knee. Step your right foot up to meet the left and fold Uttanasana. And then grab opposite hand to elbow. Soften your knees a bit and just sway gently side to side. Release those hands, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Press into your feet. Come all the way up, Urdhva Hasasana, inhale. Exhale, hands down through prayer. You're gonna shift your weight into your right foot. Bend your left knee up into your chest and then sweep it out to the side and find your tree pose, a little Vrikshasana here. Hands come to prayer. <laughs> Try to catch your balance. If it feels all right to you, you can take your arms out and up. And then hands come to prayer. Sweep this left knee forward, step back. Warrior one, inhale your arms out, reach them up. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back through plank. And then lower knees, chest, chin. Find chaturanga if you want it. And a baby cobra, upward facing dog. And pull it back, downward facing dog. Walk your feet to meet your hands. And fold. Halfway lift. Let it go. Press into your feet. Come all the way back up. As you exhale, you're gonna pull your right knee into your chest. Sweep that knee open. Tree pose. Take your arms out. Reach them up. Find your balance. Settle into your breath. And then sweep this right knee forward. Step it back, warrior one. Doesn't have to be a giant step. Just enough to get both feet rooted. Inhale. Exhale, hands come to the mat. Step it back again, downward facing dog. Inhale, slide forward, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga if you want it. Low cobra or upward facing dog. Pull it back, downward facing dog. Walk your feet slowly forward. And hang, Uttanasana, opposite hand to elbow. Sway gently. Release your hands, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. You're gonna bend your knees, sink your hips, Uttatasana, chair pose here. Sink your weight back toward your heels. 
open your toes. We're going to sit a little lower, sit a little lower, sit a little lower until maybe we come into a squat here, just a short little malasana, and then take your butt back. Bring your legs <laughs> to cross in front of you. Sit nice and tall. And then your right hand's gonna come behind you, left hand to your right knee. Lengthen up, give yourself a twist here. Back through the middle. Take your left hand behind, right hand across to your left knee. And then back through the middle. Take a moment here, drop your chin to your chest. Give your head a little shake side to side. Maybe let your rib cage bop a little bit side to side. Some gentle circles here. And then in the other direction. Just tiny ones. Come back through center. Feel your shoulders soften away from your ears. Crown of your head stretch up. Bring your palms together into Anjali Mudra and bow your head. And you can stay here with your hands resting in your lap if you want to hang for a little bit. But this was just meant to be a short kind of yawn of a practice. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't boring, but you know what I mean. Thanks for spending some time with me. And I look forward to practicing with you again soon. As always, drop a comment below, subscribe, check some other stuff out, and make it a great day.